The first thing you need to do when you're uploading content into Moodle is turn on the editing. And you'll notice that when you turn the editing on you have access to a number of other functions. Whether or not you're uploading a Word document, a PowerPoint, a PDF, an audio file, the process is the same. You need to find the Add a Resource area, click to bring up Link to a File or Website. When you select that, Moodle prompts you to name the file you're about to upload. And I'm going to call it Writer's Block. Moodle always likes a summary of the document that you're uploading. Now I can choose or upload the file. It takes me into the file management area of Moodle and when you have a number of files in here it's actually a good idea to have them grouped into folders. I don't have a folder for resources at the moment so I'm going to make one. Make a folder, call it resources, create and you can see now there is a folder in the file manage area called resources. I click that to make it the active folder. I then upload the file. I browse my computer for the file. There it is. Tips for overcoming writer's block and it's now ready to be uploaded. I click upload this file. Moodle is uploading the file. It's now done. It's in my Moodle site and to select the file I now go choose and you'll see that it's there already to be made accessible. You need to choose whether you want to see this file in a, the same window or new window. I think new window is always preferable. When I slide further down, I save and return to course. And you'll see I now have the file called Writer's Block. Now to make it look like as the student view, turn the editing off. Click on Writer's Block. It will open up Word. It asks, do you want to open it with Microsoft Office Word? Yes, OK. Word opens and there's the document ready for student consumption. So it's that easy. That's how you upload content into Moodle.